Hey you guys, my name is Daquan Quattlebaum and today we're going to talk about real estate a little bit more. Today I want to talk about distressed properties, what they look like, how to identify them, and also how to get in contact with the owners. Today we're going to do a little um, project I call Walking for Dollars because that's how everybody can actually start today. Get up, walk out your neighborhood, just walk around and look for distressed properties. I'll take you for a walk with me. I'll get an offer, it's free. If you're thinking about selling, come consult with me. Give me a call, get an offer, it's free. If you're thinking about selling, come consult with me. All right, so look at this one. This would be a prime example of a distressed property. Some things we want to look for, as you can see, tall grass looks like somebody hasn't been here in months. Um, as you can also see, you can see straight through the windows. They have no blinds or anything. So I can tell there's physically no one living there. I don't see furniture. Things like this. You look in the mailbox and you see that the mail hasn't been touched for a while. That's also a sign of distress that nobody has been here in a while. So this would be a prime example of me wanting to get in contact with the owner and also wanting to find out exactly why this property is the way it is. Ah, picked up the phone, cold call my own with hopes of buying a home. You gave me the time of day, just got home from work, but still had time to conversate. We met at the property, nothing but honesty, you kept nothing from me. I went over some options, fix it up, MLS cash or lease option. You. All right, so this property here would be another great example of a distressed property. As you can see, the grass is very high, almost taller than me. The grass hasn't been touched in months, probably years. Sorry, they have traffic going. As you can see, this house is in a very, very distressed state. They have boards on the side doors and windows. Um, you can tell a couple windows have been replaced, but you can tell that they have not done a full rehab. They probably stopped, and I have no reason why. No reason at all why. But it's my job to find out, and it's also my job to see exactly how I can help this owner as well. Boom. All right, so that's two properties just walking. So that's two properties just walking for dollars. Um, we're gonna continue walking, continue Man, exactly you trap what we can find. Cash flow? Show you how easy now it is to find the trap house to a cash flow. Man, you turn the trap house to a cash flow? Just bought a crib, it ain't too bad. You know it got three beds and two baths. Had to go get some new sheet rock. When you flip in the house, you gonna need that. Replace the roof in the HVAC. ROI, you wanna trace that. Appliances to leave a place mat. MLS, where you gon' place that? I know some realtors, I know some wholesalers. I call a contract to make sure the flow level. Eat with a buyer, I pay, he gon' pay. So as you can see, this is another example of a distressed property. You got boards on the windows, boards on the doors. You actually can see a notice on the house as well where it's probably been condemned, but it's not up to code. So this is a homeowner who, A, doesn't have the funds to fix it up, B, might not even be worried about the house. It could have been a probate situation where they inherited the property. Um, or C, they might not even know they own the property. So that's why it's my job to also get in contact with this owner, have a conversation, and see exactly how I can help. Yeah. All right, so today we've walked for dollars. We didn't actually have to get in our car. We actually just walked the neighborhood that we live in. And we found a couple distressed properties. Um, so the next step would actually be getting in contact with these owners and I'll show you exactly how to do that on the next video. Yeah, I buy houses, sell houses, and rent them out. Yes, I do. And written out, that's my favorite. So that's some different clouds. That's some different clouds. I buy them fixed, I buy them wrecked, I buy them small, I buy them tall. Yes, I do. Well, I guess it's...